do you believe the internship is beneficial towards students that live in? Um, absolutely. They get a first-hand glimpse into the career field that they're interested in, which um, is invaluable when you're trying to decide if that's the type of work environment that you enjoy, um, especially when you're looking forward to doing schooling that's involved, to be prepared for that occupation. So having that first-hand experience is really helpful for students at this level. And um, do you also think that the internship program could work as an alternative to the senior project or have the internship be the project and kind of work to like integrate those two things? Um, I think that would be a great idea. Um, I think um, internships and projects that go along with the internship would be a great um, avenue. I have had students in the past that have joined the two together. Um, they've done, in fact I have a student this year who um, her senior project revolved around dental hygiene and her internship was with uh, Dr. Bruno at his dentist office. So it wasn't in place of the senior project, but it was kind of like hand in hand or in conjunction with the senior project. Um, but I do believe that senior project could be a little more tailored towards, um, especially um, when you're dealing with um, occupations that require apprenticeships, um, hands-on types of occupations, plumbing, electricians, um, carpentry, uh, pipe fitting, all of those types of um, occupations that we don't really prepare students for, but that type of internship opportunity gives them that opportunity. So. So you're aware of the internship program that we have here at Bunchley High School? Yes. Um, so is it, would you consider it something that you specifically try to encourage your students to partake in um, their senior year? Um, or something that you'd recommend a student to join to explore career pathways? Yes. So okay. depending on where they're at with their requirements to graduate, um, definitely. For any kid that wants to do like physical therapy or physician assistant, um, it's important that they get time in. But sometimes their schedule is so packed that they can't. So then we recommend they do it after school on their own, maybe just one day a week. But we do ha also have, in addition to the internships that they can do on their own, um, we do have the career seminar and internship program that we recommend. I recommend to almost all my students that especially aren't planning on going to college, so they have. Um, some job skills when they go out into the workforce. So there's um, about 20 students this year in the program. Could you tell us a bit more about that program? So Is Mrs. Welsh teaches the program. It's got, it's two blocks a day. The days that the blocks meet at the same time, like back to back, the kids go out to their internships. Um, there's transportation for them. And Miss Welsh sets the internships up for them. The days that the class just meets once, they work on like resume writing skills, interviewing skills, stuff like that. So there's a curriculum. So not every kid needs it that intense. Um, so the kids that maybe they want to do the physical therapy, I have someone this year doing it at a dental office. So she goes out to Woodward and Kaufman um, whenever she can. And the nice thing is they understand our schedule because Isaac was a student here. It's hard for the business world to understand our schedule because it rotates and you know you can't say I'm going to be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, but next year, you guys won't be here, but the new schedule should help with that. So um, okay. yeah, they'll have the afternoon. Off. Yep. So the afternoon <clears throat> isn't going to rotate. The afternoon rotates within the afternoon, so it should be easier for businesses for people to like know what days the kids are coming. Very nice. Thank you. Um, and then just one final thing. Would you ever see um, the internship program and that involvement kind of replacing a senior project? Um, you know, having them focus on one area and like a job within that field and then ha like kind of eliminating the senior project just to have them focus their time throughout the year in that career field? Would you think that'd be like a fair exchange? Because we had talked to some students and that's something they could see it like as an alternate and like kind of linking their job to a senior project um, or you know just focusing on the internship program yeah I think, I think for some that might work and a lot of kids do it that way um, actually I think my student that's doing at the dental that I'm assuming is her part of our project as well um, 
it might be difficult to have 200 kids out in Westerly at, you know, from 12 to, to 1 every day. Um, I think it's viable for kids that wanted to do that. Some kids really do like just to do the research-based kind of thing. But um, I do, I hope with the new schedule, we do have more kids doing internships. Um, you know, the other part of the internships is having uh, transportation, so that you have to have your own transportation. And then even like our child development classes, that's really an internship in and of itself. They go out into the collaborative. Um, but again, transportation's an issue there too. So that's why the class that we have, career seminar and internships, nice because there's busing. All right, um, who here is aware of the internship program available to seniors? I heard about that. I know a couple of kids like that do it, yeah. Uh, Not uh, as a junior. Uh, so like maybe. I heard two. about it like two weeks ago, that counts. Um, I should have been aware of it earlier. I don't know. Okay. Um, Would I do it? Yes, that. So is it something that you guys would have been interested in joining your okay. senior okay. year? Heck yeah. Miss yeah, yeah. said oh, my yeah. grades were yeah, yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know enough about it to know if I'd be interested. In yeah, like they should have like a big meeting about it. Like, I'm you know, seven, two everyone down to the auditorium. Yeah. That kind of thing. So would you it be to? something that you guys agree on that should be more promoted throughout the school? Heck yeah. yeah. Heck yes. Yeah, I think more students should be I, allowed I to swear. I think this call shouldn't have yeah. been as mean to me about not being able to do it. I think the lunch lady should stop throwing our sandwiches right. away. Let them finish <laughs> so they can go do their thing. Let me use that, Joe. <laughs> no, I think we have all the Okay, so by show of hands, how many of you here know what an internship or an apprenticeship is? Okay. So for those of you who may not know, it's basically just kind of shadowing um, in the career field and like going into work, but you're not necessarily getting paid, but you're just working to get that real life experience in that specific career field. Um, so now, are any of you here aware of the internship program that we have at this school? Um, it's basically where you get a, you take a class called Internship Career Exploration, and you can spend an hour of your day going out into a local westerly business, and you can actually um, work there. So are any of you here aware of that? Two people. Okay, thank you. Um, are you aware of that at all? No, I'm not aware of the internship program. Have you ever interned before? No. But you work, right? Yes. Um, so would you rather have your internship with that like real life work experience be your senior project? Yeah. 